Zazulu from Rebat Academic Institution Center. So I'm going to solve paper one, which is 2020 GCE. In paper one, there are 23 questions. We are starting with the last question, which is number 23. And every year, paper one mathematics, 23 questions is uh, under motion. So we have a question on the board about the motion of a sprinter. The question says, a sprinter runs a race of 200 meters. Her total time for running the race is 25 seconds. Ending at U meters per second. Below is a sketch of the motion of the sprinter. So this graph plotted describes the motion of the what? Of a sprinter. So the question is under. The first question says calculate A, the acceleration in the first four seconds. Meaning calculate the acceleration of this slope. This slope, it also shows that the, the acceleration was what? Constant. So as the speed was increasing, meaning the time was also what? Was also changing. So question A to calculate the acceleration. Acceleration is given by A is equal to final velocity minus initial over time. And for the sake of revision, acceleration, this is a rate change of velocity. Meaning as the velocity is changing, also time is what? Changing. So the acceleration of the first four seconds, our time is from 0 to 4. And our final velocity is 90 or oh, it's 9. And then our initial is the starting point of the motion. So acceleration is equals to final velocity is 9. Initial time or initial velocity is zero, and then our time is what? Four. So acceleration is equal to nine. Take away zero, it's nine over four. And then we're going to divide four into nine, it's two. Remainder one, we add the point, and then we add the zero to one. Two, four into ten, it's two. Remainder two, and then we add the zero to two. 4 into 20 is 5, meaning our acceleration in the first 4 seconds was 2.25 meters per second. So, in an exam, the question or A first question was 1 mark. And then let's move to the next question. The next question says the distance covered in the first 20 seconds. So, this is 20 seconds. And you have to know the shape produced by the motion of the sprinter. So this is the distance for 20 seconds. And to calculate the distance under the graph, we use the formula of the shape produced or the shape which comes out of the motion of the sprinter. So this shape is called a trapezium. And the formula for a trapezium is under mesuration. So you have to know the formulas under Mesuration. So question B says calculate the distance covered in the first 20 seconds. So area is equal to 1 over 2 A plus B and then height. Now since we want the distance, not the area, so we are going to replace A with D. So D is equal to 1 over 2 A plus B and then H. Now let's identify our A, B and D. Height. So our A is from 4 to 20. This is our A. And then our B is from 0 to 20 seconds. And then our height is this. So now after identifying our A, B and D, our height, the next is now to replace the values of A, B and H. So distance is equal to 1 over 2. What is A? A, you subtract, you say 20 minus 4. That is A. So 16 and then plus B it's from 0 to 20, so it's 20 seconds. And then our height is from is our height is from 0 to 9 meters per second. So it is 90 meters per second. So now we can operate D is equals to 1 over 2. And then you add 16 plus 20, the answer is 36, and then 5, 9. So, to avoid the complications, let's reduce. Say 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 36 is 18. So now the distance, uh, distance is equal to 18 by 9. 
18 by 9. Distance is equals to 18 by 9, it's 162 meters. So this is the distance covered within 20 seconds in the motion of a sprinter. That is the distance. The last question C says find the value of u. And this question was difficult to almost all the students who start for GCE 2020 because this question was three marks in an exam. So the question says find the value of u. And u it shows that u is the what it is the velocity which is in meters per second. So to calculate the value of u, we have been given the total distance in the statement and we have found the total distance in the first 20 seconds. So we don't know the distance of this last part of the motion, we don't know the distance, but the total distance of the wall motion is 200 meters per second. So to find the total distance of the last shape, you say, uh, you say the total distance given, total distance minus distance of first 20 seconds. So the total distance was 200 meters, and then minus the distance of the first 20 seconds was 160 two meters. So the answer is 38 meters. So 38 meters is the distance of the last part of the journey. Having found the distance and if you observe clearly, this is also a trapezium. So if this is a trapezium, meaning from this point to this point is our A, and then from this point to this point is our G, B. And then our height is from 20 to 25, which is it? H. So again, after identifying our A, our B, and H, then now we can say distance is equal to 1 over 2 A plus B and then H. So what is our distance? Our distance for this shape it is what? 38 and then 1 over 2 and then our A, our A is from 0 to U. So meaning our A is what? U plus our B is from 20 to 9, or it's from 0 to 9, so meaning it's 9. And then our height, you say 25 minus 20, which is 5. So having replaced, now we can calculate, say, over our back cross multiply. 2 times 38, so in mathematics, paper 1, 2 times 3, or 2 times 8, it is 16. Remember one, two by six, it is in six plus one is 76. It's equals to, and then five by nine, it's 45. And then five by u, it's in five u plus. And then at this stage, now you correct the what? You correct the like terms together. So 76 and 45 are like terms. So you say 76 minus 45 is equals to five v. U. So now what is the difference between 40, 76 minus 46? The difference it is 31. So it's equals to 5u. Then now we want to find the value of what? U, you say over 5 over 5. Cancel, cancel. Then we say u is equals to 5 into 31, it is 6.2 meters per second. So meaning the value of u was 5 meters per second and that is the end of the question.